It's time, brother. So today we will be doing the trailing arm mount. So we're replicating this piece right here and we're gonna weld it from the same distance from here to here that it is stock from here to here pretty much. I'm gonna put it right there and then we're gonna start adding some bracing Cut this bad boy. So yeah, let's get started. So I finally finished welding the bracket to the extended frame. This is my first time ever welding with this gas. It's not that bad. It's okay, obviously it's not that pretty, but this is my first product, this is how you learn. So, but it'll hold. So far so good, now time to build that trailing arm out. Let's do it. I haven't really done much yet. Um, I cut out the three brackets here for the trailing arm mount, which is these right here. But um, I'm missing a drill bit this size to be able to make the holes there in the middle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mock it up with the trailing arms. And then like that, I can measure the distance um, of the top part. So you can see, so we're gonna have to go to Home Depot and get a, a drill bit. So today is actually the next day. Um, look at my, uh, what's it called? Sriracha brother. Today's the next day and um, I've been doing a lot of cutting. As you can see, there's actually a whole mess in here. Have to clean it up now. Um, look that's the so far the trailing arm mount let me turn the camera around so here it is so what i did is those i got those three little plates i i finally went and got the correct drill bit i drilled a hole in them and then i just finished cutting this piece it's still pretty hot um so yeah that's how it is. I'm gonna put it on there. I'm gonna tack weld it. And then the other piece has to go down here like this. So it's gonna go on that frame there, just about here. That's where the middle of the bolt is. And then yeah, and then the top of that bracket, it's gonna sit around here. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put square tubing, weld it from here onto that plate and then back to the where the shock mount is. So back here somewhere. So I still got a, got a lot to do, but little by little, it's, it's a lot of work for one person. But, and I have no CNC machine. I am the CNC. So cutting all this is pretty hard, but it's coming along. A little by little. So I'm finally welding. This is the first try. Eh. But then I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh yeah. Sucks because I welded the I welded the inside super nice. And the outside. Eh. Not very nice. Okay. But I'm getting better at it, I think. Cool beans. So I just finished cutting these pieces off and I just tack welded it right there. It's still hot. 
So this is pretty much gonna be the trailing arm mount. Right now the angles are not the same, but once I set it up on there, I'm gonna obviously measure it and make sure it's squared out. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put it there, measure it, tack weld it. I'll probably put the arms to make sure it's straight and then just continue. So I finally put everything together. I put the trailing arm mount. I welded it to the frame in the bottom. Right now it's still super wiggly because I still need to add more bracing and stuff like that. But so far, so far so good. Got the mount there. I'm gonna put square tubing here, weld it to here. I'm also gonna add another bracing from probably from here, probably at an angle and then up to the the control arm, uh, the trailing arm mount. But uh, that's pretty much how it's gonna look. I put the trailing arm so I can see where and what tubing I could put. But that's how far the the tire is gonna stick out. It looks pretty good I mean, from this angle. I don't know if you can kind of tell. Look so far, so far so good. Looks great. Looking good, boys. Yeah, buddy. Stretch.com. Woo! Looks great. Barely fits in here. Woo! She's looking great. So I think that's it for today. I'm gonna continue probably tomorrow um, with the other portion with the shock mounts and then start adding a bunch of bracing because right now it's pretty wobbly. Obviously right now the only thing holding it is that little mount. So I gotta keep adding some more square tubing and you know start bracing everything all together once I have the shock mount in. And then I think it'll get easier from now because doing these mounts were a little bit difficult but hey i was able to do it and look at it so far so good it looks pretty legit we'll see how it holds hopefully it doesn't bend in half now nah, i'm gonna add a lot of bracing so so it'll be you know pretty good so yeah see you next time